I'm here in Dearborn, Michigan to witness the start of a brand new chapter in the history of North America's favorite truck, the F-150, as the first Ford F-150 Lightnings roll off the production line. I will be sharing my experiences with you from today, and as I hope you've already seen on this very channel, I've just got back from my very brief ride along in a production F-150 Lightning, something which, as a reservation holder for one, was pretty fun. And today, we're going to chat with someone who played an essential role in getting the iconic F-150 electrified. But first, a quick reminder that if you like our special brand of content, we would love it if you'd consider hitting subscribe and the notification bell, as well as clicking on those notification preferences for this channel. And of course, don't forget to share your favorite videos from the network with your friends, colleagues, and loved ones. And if you want to go one step further, stick around until the end, and I will tell you the ways in which you can help the channel to grow. Taking its most popular vehicle and electrifying it is not only a big gamble for Ford, but an essential transitional move if it wants to remain relevant in the world without an internal combustion engine. And for Ford, that means ensuring the person heading up its F-150 Lightning development was up to the job. Its choice? Linda Zhang, chief nameplate engineer for the F-150 and former Ford Explorer program manager. Linda has worked at Ford for 26 years, and let me tell you, she knows her stuff. Linda, congratulations on the birth of your new baby. I know <laughs> that the baby analogy is probably overused, but it must be an incredibly proud moment for you and your team. What's it been like carrying this truck to, to full production? You know what, I am so excited about this product and we've been working on it for the last three years. So probably the longest gestation period that I've ever had to deal with. Um, but it's been um, just utterly wonderful. Um, take, being able to take the, con the vehicle from concept all the way to production to being able to see it out on the road soon is just so uh, gratifying and rewarding for not just me, but the entire team that's alongside me working on this awesome truck. So Linda, the Lightning looks very similar in a lot of ways to the internal combustion engine F-150. The family resemblance is strong. There are a few styling tweaks and nips and tucks here, but I think what a lot of people don't realize is that the F-150 Lightning has been built from the ground up as an electric vehicle. The chassis is completely different. Can you talk us through the process of taking what was a very iconic vehicle and almost stealthily rebuilding it from the ground up so that it's all electric and has all the benefits of an electric drivetrain without being the usual compromise that you see when you have two different vehicles with two different drivetrains. No, that's a really good point. And for us, you know, we had such a strong base to build from with F-150 and F-Series in a way, right? Being part of that family, being able to um, take from that DNA and keep it very similar and very F-Series. Um, for us, that was important because we're building on an iconic vehicle, just like you said. Um, F-Series is best-selling truck for, in, or actually not even just best-selling truck, but best-selling vehicle in America for 45 years straight. So we had a lot to build from. And I think from our customer research very early on, we heard from our customers loud and clear that um, they really actually loved the appearance of F-150. And um, they wanted us to make sure that we didn't put them in something that looked like a science experiment. So what we worked on is, as we built this up from scratch, really understanding what are some of the things that we need to change and not fixing things that aren't broken. And being able to take the overall design of the vehicle um, and leaving it um, with that F-Series DNA, but also modernizing it to be able to show that it is a uh, different truck, and in this case, the truck of the future. Um, for us, it was taking that modernization in the um, lights um, on the front end as well as the rear end. We actually have um, completely different sheet metal on the front as well as the rear, um, giving us that aerodynamic and best, you know, most aerodynamic vehicle or truck that we've ever built. Um, 
but then also making sure that we were able to design it from scratch so that we really um, spent the energy and the resources on the uh, electrification powertrain. Um, but still leveraging the scale within the company on things that weren't broken. Added independent rear suspension for the first time on an F-Series pickup truck. You've utilized scales for the first time, I think, in any electric vehicle to help modulate range and help manage expectation. This truck has a lot of firsts in it, but I really want to talk to you about that scale functionality. The modeling that you all went through to ensure that when a customer gets in to their F-150 Lightning, they know exactly how far they can travel based on what they're carrying and what they're towing. Tell me a little bit about that journey with onboard scales and how that worked for you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, part of the challenges that we had realized at the beginning of the um, project was really this myth out there that EVs can't be tough. Um, so part of that train demonstration was really to kind of bust that myth in a way so we can convince people that EVs can be tough. Not only is it a great truck, um, but it's capable, it's durable. It basically is tested the same way, engineered the same way that we do all of F-Series. Um, so from that perspective, that, that's, that was really the um, rationale in our thinking in terms of trying to demonstrate that durability and capability for our customers. And now, when you translate that into range, one of the things that we're doing within the vehicle is really trying to um, give our customers the best set of information that they can to be able to adjust for the fact that when you do tow and when you do have payload in the vehicle, that your range will change. Um, so being able to leverage the intelligent uh, range system in the vehicle, it can really help our customers route their path or, or take, uh, update their route to be able to account for their trailers, account for where they might need to stop, um, and so on and so on. But um, we're really excited about the system. I think for us, it was really important to be very transparent with our customers on where their range is so that they can have that comfort of knowing that they won't be stranded. Now there is one final feature I want to talk to you about, and that's vehicle to grid, vehicle to home integration. How did Ford come up with that? And at what point did Ford decide it was a must have feature for this truck? Actually, intelligent backup power was something that was part of the brainstorming around the vehicle at inception. For us, a lot of what we tried to do is as we re reinvent, in a way, this truck, we wanted to be able to see what could about electrification actually bring for our customers. Um, on top of the fun performance with the instant near instant torque and the capability of being able to tow easily also with that mega uh, power front that space that used to house an engine we don't need that anymore right so reinventing that and then of course the other item was intelligent backup we have this high voltage battery that stores so much energy and um, you know really thinking through how could we leverage this to provide our customers with that backup power plant really on wheels. So it was something we came up with very early on in the program. And this is one of the examples of why I'm so proud of our team, because when we set our vision to go do something, we get it done. Um, there is lots of challenges, but we got it done. And it is such a great feature and our customers are gonna absolutely love it. Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on the truck. And here's to the future for Ford's electrified lineup. And thank you at home for watching. If you did like the video, which I know you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave your thoughts below or in our free to join Discord chat room. There are links in the video description. I will be back soon with more from the F-150 Lightning launch. And don't forget that we produce videos every single day on this network for you all to enjoy, ranging from deep dives and features to tutorials, unboxings, and reviews. If you haven't already, make sure that you have subscribed to this channel and to our other channel, Transport Evolved Take Two, and give that bell a gentle ding to make sure you're told when our next video goes live. Thanks on behalf of the entire TE crew. Go to the folks on my right for being our $15 to $49 a month supporters. Special thanks to our $50 a month patrons. That's 
Chris Maxwell, Bennett Elder, Brian Newton, Dave Kitchen, Michael Goad, Ricky Leon, Andrew Martin, Guido Trajota, Brophy Wolf, Tazza in the Gong, Gordon C, Stephen O'Donoghue, Carl Hodgson, Anthony Coates, Raging Fellows, Rory Litwin, Anonymous Freak, Jim Van Ness, Chris the Centaur, and of course Denny Hyde. And our deepest gratitude to our $100 Starman patron supporters. That is Marcel Ward, Reggie Watts, Joe Bresney, JP Fagerback, Will Graylin, Matthew Drobnak, John Lyons, Christopher Lee Jones, Andrew Glenn, Paul Conway, Laura Reynolds, Ellery Hensley, and of course, Ian. If you would like to be part of that amazing list, it's really simple to join. You can join Patreon at the link below. You can hit the join button below this video if you're watching on YouTube, or you can show us your support by heading to Kofi and sending us a coffee tip. I do drink large amounts of coffee, as does Kate Walton Elliott. And of course, you could also buy something from our cool swag store. And just know that if you are unable to support us financially, just watching the video and sharing it and interacting with it really makes a big difference. And of course, thanks again to Ford for inviting us here. It has been an honor and a privilege to come and see these very first Ford F-150 Lightnings rolling off the production line. Thanks for joining me and as always, keep evolving. <laughs>